You're watching News 12 at 6 p.m. with Maureen Kane, Dan Thomas, Sports with David Reed, and from the Weather Authority, here's Steve Lenore. Well, the sky is talking starting at 3.30 this afternoon. We had a mostly cloudy sky here from our perspective in Durant from the campus of Southeastern, but watch how that's been changing as drier air is coming in aloft and we have scoured out the cloud cover and a superior sunset, beautiful right there across a radiant sky here on this late fall night. <laughs> Gonna be a cold one too. The clear sky will allow the heat to escape to space along with, uh, of course, the front passing the day. Strong northerly winds pushing in a batch of chilly air but I think you'll like the 70 forecast because it won't last very long the way things are shaping up. Today's numbers weren't too bad. In fact, above the normal for this time of the year. This morning's lows were uh, comfortably cool in the mid 40s. It'll be a lot colder and definitely much more windy on your uh, Tuesday night into your Wednesday morning. Let's take some of no significant change here in the last 24 hours. Power generation schedule has changed. That's going till 9 p.m. tonight. Temperatures right now aren't that bad, generally in the 50s. As you can see, Gainesville at 60, one of the uh, warmer spots. And we have uh, 55 in Clayton, Colgate, and 8 of this hour. With winds, though, gusting up to about 25 to 30 miles per hour, that's already putting your wind chills down in the 40s. Now, the winds will actually pick up later on tonight, and as temps continue to fall, we're going to do a weather aware for this chilly stuff coming in. Look for wind gusts overnight, 20 to 30 miles per hour. Be sure that trash can lids on good or your stuff's going to go blowing down the street. I've been there, done that. Not a lot of fun. Wind chills about 20 to 25 by morning. Now the winds will start to ease during the morning hours tomorrow and we'll have a lot of sun tomorrow. I'll feel pretty good and we'll chase off some of that chill on your Wednesday. High level cloud cover you can see here is moving away. We have a very uh, dry air mass coming in here as shown by this dark slot and that is going to be allowing for a lot of sunshine. Again, a pretty Wednesday after we put up with a windy and cold night tonight. Well, here comes high pressure, certainly uh, indicated here in Kansas right now. And as it comes south tomorrow, the winds will relax during the day. And we're down to about a 10-mile-per-hour wind by uh, afternoon with sunny skies. Highs will be cool, about 50 to 55 tomorrow. Then as the high kind of pushes off to the southeast on Thanksgiving Day, we get back to a southwesterly flow. So I'm saying your Thanksgiving forecast Anything but a turkey. It's going to be nice out there. It'll be chilly in the morning with some frost. We'll bounce back into the 60s with a lot of sunshine. That's doing pretty good for late November. Now tonight, this is going to be a cold one because of the wind and the air temperatures being in the upper 20s north, like Clayton and 8 at 28, to just above freezing along the Red River here, 33 Sherman Denison and 34 Paris. But tomorrow with the wind dropping off and a lot of sun, won't be too bad. A little cool. Highs generally in the low to mid 50s. So we'll do about 33 tonight and about 52 tomorrow. And we're looking at a lot of sunshine for your Wednesday. Thanksgiving Day again. Going to start off cold with some frost. But 64 in the afternoon. Not too shabby for Black Friday. Well, nice weather for shopping. A little windy out there. Your biggest challenge on Friday, of course, will be finding a parking space. The weather should not be a major problem. Although, again, we'll have a bit of gusty wind out there. Really pretty mild stuff. After Thanksgiving morning, temperatures above average right through the holiday weekend. All right, good time to get outside and enjoy it. Absolutely. All right, All right thanks, Steve.